Hey guys, John Adams with Modern Design Aquascaping. Our team builds custom ponds, fountains, and waterfalls out of natural stone and wood. My goal is to educate and inspire the world about water features. I am here today shooting part two of building a waterfall in a flat backyard. If you haven't already seen part one and you want to know the basic beginning of this job and how that went, go back and watch it. We also made another video about how we select the stones for these waterfalls. You can check that one out as well. Today what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a little bit about what went on with the construction once we finished the basin in the ground, how we built the retaining wall, how we put all of the stones in here, leveled the soil out and got it ready for the landscaper. And uh, since we've been gone, the landscapers have got here, the uh, homeowners have started putting the lighting in and they're getting that finished up. There's a little bit of lawn repair that needs to be taken care of still. but. Uh, as you can see, the feature's done and running. So hey guys, boom, I'm in Studio C. I want you to know there's two things I did for the end of this video to make it awesome for you. I just spent five hours going out to the client's house after dark so I could get some amazing footage of this thing with the lights on to show you their backyard. And I also spent some time talking with them and getting them to share their feelings about this job and how the experience was. So stay tuned to the end of this video and you're gonna experience both of those things with us. I appreciate you watching. Check out the time lapse, this is crazy. Oh, you gotta heat it up. 50 degrees outside, it's not snowing. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. He's gotta heat the dingo up. I'm sunburnt. <laughs> no. Are you going, are you rolling? Sweet. All right, so here we are officially. It's actually day two, it's officially day three here in Maryville, Tennessee. And uh, just quick run through about what we managed to get done yesterday. Our machine finally showed up, got this piled, our elevations changed. Got our retaining wall built across the back back here right now. We're getting ready to bring our soil in, do all our, all our shaping and our sculpting of our earth and get it ready. And then we're actually gonna set some rocks in this baby. So that's what's going on. Check out the time lapse and watch it as it happens later.
So one of my favorite things about building these waterfalls is when we get to manipulate pieces of natural wood. And we always use cedar, teak, cypress, mainly cedar. But you can put them in so many different ways, so many different applications. You can make a waterfall out of them. You can have this waterfall fall onto it. You can put them in the reservoir. But what we're doing with this one is we've actually cut it, slid it under the boulder the best we could. The roots are actually gonna creep down into the gravel and look like they disappeared and grew there naturally. And we've got a little pocket right here where we're actually gonna have a light gonna be casting firelight all over in this area so really it's just to naturalize it the best we can and what better way than to put natural pieces of wood in there Tristan, talk to me about this, this seam. I'm gonna show everybody. This is a waterfall seam across the back. Tristan's gonna tell you why he does what he does and how he does it. Go ahead. All right, so <laughs> the reason we're doing this, you wanna get your foam all the way across. You gotta seal the bottom of every rock and also you gotta seal up your edges all the way to the top. But the thing you gotta make sure not to do is to foam these weep holes closed. If there's any amount of water that escapes my foam job, so to speak, and doesn't go right over the waterfall, it's gonna need these weep holes to actually get back into the system. So, plant set. the background to see kind of like more of a nature aspect. And then we also have a five-year-old who at Eden likes to play in the waterfalls, right? Right. So that was the other thing. So <laughs> it was like a two for one. Still yeah. it was something he could enjoy that we would also enjoy. Yeah. Right. That, that's, the sound of running water is just there's nothing more soothing, right? So we really enjoy that and it's all the quality of work and you were super responsive when we when we reached out. And uh, yeah, great experience. What was unexpected to you guys? Uh, how quick it was. We didn't envision being as big and beautiful as it is, so it's a pleasant surprise to have it back. Well, and the other and the thing is how you like uh, <laughs> took some of the things that we had said, and, you know, especially for us, especially because we told you Brighton's going to play in it. So you got the flat little rock where he can sit down and put his feet in, and uh, yeah, it, cool for him. it was very individual. Was how it just the whole process was so much easier and seamless, and there was 
there wasn't a whole lot of like anxiety or stress. It was mm -hmm. like everything happened like it was supposed to happen. So. I mean, you were more you were more proactive reaching out to me than I was with you, which was really comforting, right? And you made it seamless. Um, you, you're, I mean, you did, guys did a phenomenal job of keeping minimal damage. I mean, obviously you're carrying in what 50,000 pounds of rock Stop stuff. Dirt, yeah. right? I mean, there was that small little patch where the excavator had to rotate, but other than that, I mean, yeah. I mean, and you guys were, I mean, you couldn't even tell you were working on here. Every day you come cleaned up, there's nothing left. It does, those little things make a, a, a big difference, right? Hey guys, if you like this video and you learned a little something about how a water feature gets put together and what things look like, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up down there in the bottom. Subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more about custom ponds, fountains, and waterfalls, how they're built, how they're installed, tips and tricks, all that good stuff. I'm John Adams, Modern Design Aquascaping. I hope you all have a fantastic day later.